In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to work with disk and partitions on specifically Linux environment. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So for this test, I'm using Linux Mint live environment, but you can use any other live environment as well. There are like hundreds of Linux distros available online. But if you don't want to use any of those, you just want to use the application itself, what we're going to use, which is called Gparted. Let me show you how it looks like. So this is the utility we are going to use, and I'll show you all the features of it step by step. So first of all, you need to know how to load it into live environment and why we are running it in live environment. So if you're already in the operating system, you won't be able to change anything on the root partition itself. So you have to be somewhere in the live environment where you can change your disk and partitioning stuff. Okay, so I have this one of the options you can use like the run Linux Mint into live or you can use Ubuntu desktop or any other like Debian live environment. Or if you don't want to use any of those, you can still use gparted directly from the gparted iso just go to gparted.org and they have this live cd and usb just click on download and run that iso using the usb and you will be able to run this utility in live mode okay so here we have uh, this complete overview of our drive our disk and then the partitions so since i only have one disk that's why it's showing me this vda for you it's going to be sda sda1 sda2 for the partitions but sda will means that's actually the disk one if you have two disks in, in your computer it should be sda sdb if you have like three so it's going to like go in the sequence sda sdb sdc and so or so on and then on this side, graphical user interface, you can see the sizes or you can see in, in the blocks, you can tell, okay, so this is 30 gigs compared to 70 gigs. You can compare the size and, and these tiny boxes definitely are going to be small sizes. And as I click on any of those, so let's say, let's click on this green one, you can see it's 100 MBs. So as compared to 70 GB, it's like really tiny. Okay, so I know since uh, I have Windows 11 on this one for, for this all, all stuff, I'm going to show you one of the Linux partition, which is ext4. So this is the one where I have installed the Linux Mint operating system. And let's do some changes. So let's say I want to increase the size of it. And if I click on resize or move i'm not able to change the size but i can see i have like 50 gb unallocated and i want to assign this to this one if i'm in in the running linux environment mode i won't be able to change the root partition but currently i'm in live mode still i'm not able to do how do i do that so this utility gives you like a lot of options to change the things so let's do this first I'm gonna start with this one. So where you have unallocated space, just click on the disk above that and then just move it to the end and click on resize or move and then click on OK. So now you can see 50 GB is moved closer to the ext4. And then I'm gonna click on this one ext4 and then just increase the size or if I can uh, if I want to like set a new size, I can do that as well. And just simply click on a resize. So now you can see it was 30 GB and we added 50 GB. Now it's 80 GB. So that's how it works. It's got, like really easy. And as I click on this check mark, it's going to start uh, all the operations. But in case if I have to do something else, like I have to make any other changes, I can do that as well. And if you go one by one to all of these, you can see like features in more detail. So let's say for devices, you can see VDA, what I can select from here and 
uh, on the other side from the devices so you will select or you will view the exact view of that specific disk on the edit side i can like undo changes or i can apply all the operations for view you can see the device information if i click on that one it gonna tell you the model number the serial number if it is a real disk you can see the device information here and the sector size as well since i'm using the virtual disk it's a virtual machine so that's why it's showing word io block device and then under device you can click on create partition or even here if you have free space you can click and click on new and uh, create a new partition and then you can delete a partition you can format it to something else you can name a partition you can manage flags and more stuff it depends what exactly you want so this utility gives you almost everything you need to do with a disk and i think this tool is amazing and like within five to six minutes i was able to explain you every single feature of this one and also we made some changes so let's apply this and it shouldn't take like more than two to three minutes since it was like 50 gb data and once the operation is completed now it's 100 percent applied to the new disk now you can see i have 80 gb of the other disk and this is unallocated one mb you can just ignore that that's one mb sometimes it's block sizes and different stuff so major part of this disk is assigned so that's how you work with departed application and if you have any kind of questions make sure you post in the comments and i'll see you in the next video bye bye